There are many situations where using generative AI to create images that I find really cool character, but I want to continue using the character, but when I try to generate something and even giving it as an input to some of the popular generative AI models, it just doesn't continue and creating something very similar using the same character. So in this video, we're going to look at uh, Replicates. This is a new model that allows you to create images using specific character. It allows you to have also different poses if you decide to leave it on, which I recommend. And it will give you something very similar. It's not always perfect. I mean, I did try, you can see some uh, examples here. Uh, the thing is that uh, you can set the number of outputs, uh, the image format, uh, the poses, and the number of images you want to generate. Uh, and it actually does a very good job because again, this model is trained for that. It's recommended to upload a square aspect ratio image. Uh, you, for example, are running it. Uh, you have some free credits you can try. I'm going to link to the in the description to the website where you can actually just go and try it out. And you can see it didn't get the eye properly. I think it looks like green and in the photo it was blue. Nonetheless, uh, it's better by the way to provide a clearer images, something maybe on a white background or something like that, or where the character is very well defined. But still, I was, I'm going to show in a moment that even in more complex uh, photos actually can do the job pretty well. So you can see in different poses here, right? So you can look very good job with the air, and with the you know wrinkles there and the lips and the nose. Yeah, overall looks really nice. As you can see, you can just browse with different poses. Although I tried to give something like, uh, for example, crying or emotion, and for some reason it didn't generate it, um, I'm just saying. Uh, but you can give a more, let's say, uh, artistic direction or add more things to the background, for example, and it will do a good job generating it. This is another one. I tried to give it, for, for example, like taking selfie uh, and you know, some emotion and it didn't do a good job uh, at it. Uh, I'm going to show you the selfie option, which was uh, uh, pretty bad. Let's say it like that. Just, yeah, you can see here. But still, overall, the, it looks pretty nice when it comes to rendering a face similar to the one that I actually gave as a photo. Uh, so on the website, you can see a few examples, which you can just check uh, out. You can see this is more or less what's recommended something pretty simplistic uh, it's actually here it did very good job look very very similar now uh, you can of course not use just the realistic images you can use something or a cartoon or anything that resembles you know a face a character this one for example and you can see different results there of course you can change the clothing and add some more detailed information it's just in case uh, for these particular images. This one doesn't look quite similar. But again, I mean, it's quite similar, but you can see that it's slightly off sometimes. I tried uh, the image of Mona Lisa, and now we can actually see uh, Mona Lisa uh, in different poses, different clothing. Actually, that looked pretty nice. I mentioned actually crying something with emotion, but I don't know, it wasn't like that. Didn't re uh, render that, but overall you can see, even this is kind of complex image with the background and everything kind of uh, blends together in, in the picture, I still was able to pick it up pretty nicely and actually kept the background style as well as part of the image. And of course the, the portrait itself, this was pretty nice how it blends together. Keep in mind, I am speeding things up, so it does take, uh, can take even a minute, even slightly more sometimes. Depends on the complexity of the image and the number of images you ask to generate. So this is a cyberpunk version of Mona Lisa, if you ever wondered how it would look like. Uh, and this is it. If Mona Lisa was, image, portrait image was taken in the future. Pretty intriguing. But of course there's some limitation if I wanted, for example, a group photo with a family, it didn't generate it. Most of the time just gave me a portrait, which again, this is a model, this is what it's trained for. Uh, sometimes it, some of the images look like a former horror movie. Uh, 
So I see a group photo, uh, you know, family and everything. It's, in some of the images, it, it, well, it tried. Uh, it gave something, but definitely it's not uh, trained for that. So you can see it is kind of a horror movie. Nonetheless, uh, interesting if you focus again on what this model is good uh, for. Uh, specifically, again, portrait images provide even clearer, even less, uh, more sophisticated images can work as well. And I really like it, uh, for especially if you're looking for consistency for specific uh, uh, images of people, or can be also drawings uh, or anime, for example, it works very well. Thanks for watching.